a question, but I think I just missed it. Oh, here we go. Uh, Javi's asking, do you believe in the historical Jesus? That's a good question. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about writing a book about this because I get the question a lot. And mm -hmm. I, I unfortunately get quoted uh, as someone who thinks that Jesus didn't exist which I think is really very strange, because I've written an entire book on what Jesus said and did. Okay. <laughs> and, and for him to say and do anything, he mm -hmm. had to exist. So I, I, don't, I don't think there's any serious historian who doubts the existence of Jesus. There, there are a lot of people who want to write sensational books and make a lot of money mm -hmm. who say Jesus didn't exist. But I don't know any serious scholar who, who doubts the existence of Jesus. And so absolutely. I or, so, or so we say, a Jesus. Well, I mean... Because there's some ideas about this, too, right? Because like, Jesus Christ itself, right, just means... What, what does it mean? Like the anointed one or something? Well, Christ is the Greek word for anointed one. It's the same... It's the Greek equivalent of the word uh, Mashiach in Hebrew, which Messiah. is where we get Messiah from. Right. So basically, so, so any, you know, Jewish sect that believed that they had that Jesus Christ, then then that entity would exist, so to speak. So, it, so I mean, well, I guess what I'm, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying here, I guess I'm going with the maybe the multiple Jesus hypothesis, that there might have been a variety of different, which is why we have so many different stories. Uh, I don't think there was more than one person. I mean, I think, really? there was a, I think there was a historical person, Jesus, and that we can say some things historically about him. But what happened was, after his death, so many people told stories in so many different parts of the, of mm -hmm. the Roman Empire that different portraits of Jesus emerged. And mm -hmm. some of these portraits show up in the gospel, so that in fact the portrait of Jesus in Luke's gospel is different from the portrait right. of Mark, and and different from the one in John, and different from the one in the gospel of Peter, right. or the gospel of Judas. I mean, these are all different portraits. Well, uh, well it's, okay. Well, it sounds like to me. Well, many uh, there are some people in the chat room right now disagreeing, of course, uh, but they're saying that there really isn't any hardcore evidence, though. That I mean, there's any any. You know, evidence really that Jesus did exist, except what people are saying about him. Well, but, I think I disagree with that. Really? I mean, what I mean, what hardcore evidence is there that Julius Caesar existed? Well, I this mean, is this is the same kind of argument apologists use, by the way, for uh, the existence of Jesus. By the way, what's that? Uh, they they like to say the same thing you just said just then about well, what kind of evidence we have for, for Julius? Well, I mean, it's, but it's just a typical. I mean, it's it's a historical point. Right, I mean, how do you right. establish the historical existence? Right. Well, I, I, I guess from the past. I, I guess mean, it depends on the claims. I get right. It depends on the claims that people have made during that particular time about a particular person and their influence well, the claims, on society. I mean, there are. Mm. One has to look at historical evidence. And if you, if you say that historical evidence doesn't count, then I think you get into huge trouble, because then how do you, I mean, then why not just deny the Holocaust? Or, you know, well, why not deny that Abraham Lincoln lived? Or why not right. deny, I mean, just deny, uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I think these things, ma you know, I think it matters what happened in history. Right. Well, well what, I like, what I like to say is, like, the way I like to word it you know, this way, because, I mean, really, I think we do have more evidence for those things you mentioned than we probably do Jesus Christ. But I like to tell people, well, what harm would it do? Because especially the information that you have just now about uh, even even if there was a Jesus, um, the Book of Mark shows us that there was an embellishment way after anyway. Well, I mean, so I mean, there are people so, who want to know what Jesus really did say, right? And um, you know that that assumes that he really existed, and and, and, but, and that we can't know. You have to look at the evidence. What, 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 and, and what is the evidence? Because even that we cannot know for sure. But I guess you would say look at, looking, we can look at the earliest manuscripts that date to what, around when he should have been existed or something, or what? What do we have? Because we don't have anything that exists right until after he died, allegedly, right? About him, you mean? Right, about Jesus. Well, that's true of everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, not really. I, I, just, I, I thought there was some, well, I guess so, but I thought that there are some contemporary, that, 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 that there are some writers who'd write about people as they existed, like with Jesus Caesar, weren't right, there? But, but you, we don't have... I mean, we don't have anybody from that time talking to us now. All we have are ancient records. Right, but again, I'm just, I'm, uh, and okay. all we have for Jesus are ancient records. But we don't have any ancient records of anyone who wrote about Jesus while he was alive, do we? No, absolutely okay. not. And, we and don't that's have, the difference. Just as we don't have for billions of people who lived in the past that we're pretty sure existed. I mean, just I mean, <laughs> we have more evidence for Jesus than we have for almost anybody from his time period. So I mean, you know, I'm not saying this as a believer. I'm not a believer, but as a historian. I'm just saying that you, that you you can't just kind of dismiss it and say, well, you know, we don't know. I mean, you have to look at the evidence. So there is, there is hard evidence, I think. I'm, okay. I mean, I'm, okay. I mean, I, I would look for archaeological evidence in, in, uh, as well. For example, we have one author who actually knew Jesus' uh, relatives and knew his uh, disciples. And who is that? Paul. How do we know that? Because we have Paul's letters. 
How do we know he didn't lie about it? Why would he lie about it? Um, well, you, there See, the point, the point but there Paul, are people. There are, the there are people. Paul, but but Paul says things about Jesus as off the cuff comments, where he's not making a point. And, see, that's very important to historians. In other words, a historian wants to find disinterested mm -hmm. comments. Right. And Paul has disinterested comments where he says things, for example, about James, the brother of the Lord, which is just an off-the-cuff comment because everybody that he's writing to knows who he's talking about. So he just makes the off-the-cuff comment. That's very important information. Mm -hmm. And that Paul is, it, and, and, that, and that is, if, if he wrote them. Disciples. Now, why if, if, would he if he even wrote that, tough this comment about the twelve disciples, if in, if in fact, uh, I mean, so the whole point is, is that you've got a disinterested comment from somebody who uh, actually knew these people. If he even wrote that, though, correct? Because isn't there some some? No, there's no doubt about Paul writing Galatians. Are there some? Are there some theories that suggest that maybe Paul himself uh, had scribe that wrote for him? Well, and it, every every person who wrote epistles in the ancient world dictated them to scribes. Right. So how do we know then that... Well, how do you know Cicero wrote his letters? Uh, I, I don't. I'm not a historian, so I don't, I don't know much about right. Cicero, but... Well, I am a historian, and I'm telling you. But there, are some, <laughs> but, but there are many historians who disagree with you, aren't no. they? No, none that I've ever heard of. Oh, really? Well, not serious historians. Not serious I historians. Listen, I know thousands of scholars of the ancient world, and mm -hmm. I don't know any one of these scholars who doubts that Paul wrote Galatians. Okay. So these are people who have devoted their lives to this. And a lot of them mm -hmm. are like me. It's not that I've got a personal investment in Paul. I mean, I'm not even a Christian. Right. I'm just saying, as a historian, there's no doubt Paul wrote Galatians. Hmm. 